Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing and swatching the Morphe 39L Hit the Lights eyeshadow palette. This palette was released on November 7th on Morphe.com and Morphe stores. It's now available at Ulta stores and Ulta.com as well. The palette has a cardboard packaging and a magnetic closure and it does not include a mirror. The eyeshadows do have names and they are printed in the clear film that protects the eyeshadows. This is a limited edition palette that is part of the Morphe's holiday collection. I really like the print of the packaging. It's very colorful and it has a holographic shift to it. It's giving me New Year's Eve vibes. It's a 39 eyeshadow pan palette that retails for $42. I do have an affiliate code with Morphe that will give you 10% off all Morphe products online and in stores. So this palette was put together by four influencers. Each picked out eight colors to put in the palette. In the clear film, you will see what section belongs to what influencer. This is a large palette just like the 39A, 39S, and the James Charles palette. This palette has a mixture of mattes, shimmers, pressed glitters along with silk toppers which are sheer shimmers that can be used on top of an eyeshadow to add dimension or as a cheek highlighter. Out of the 39 eyeshadows, 15 are mattes, 15 are shimmers, 7 are silk toppers, and 2 are pressed glitters. This palette also has 14 pressed pigments. When I did my swatches, I always like to start with the mattes. So for the mattes, all swatch pigmented except for two shades. Those were Reckless, which is a neon pink, and 2AM, that is a neon yellow. Once I tried the mattes with the primer, all mattes blended out smoothly without any issues. The primer I used was MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I did have some kick up and fallout with some mattes, especially the pressed pigments. For the shimmers, all shimmers were creamy and pigmented except for Rhythm, which is a magenta shade. That shade felt pressed a little too tight and it was harder to get a good swatch. I recommend using a finger application for the shimmers to get a good opaque application or a wet synthetic brush. For the silk toppers, I felt that 2 out of 7 were dry and hard to get a good swatch. Those shades were Beam and Halo Effect. These two shades felt pressed tightly into the pan. For the rest, they swatch pigmented and also transfer good with the brush. And finally, for the pressed glitters, I feel Morphe has one of my favorite pressed glitter formulas. The two pressed glitters in the palette were easy to swatch and the best part is that they were easy to transfer. They feel like a wet shimmer formula because the glitter is very fine. I didn't have any issues with these. I always recommend a glitter glue or a tacky base so they last longer. This is what I do all the time no matter what pressed glitter I use just to be on the safe side. So overall I really like this palette and I'm happy with my purchase. I definitely recommend this palette to those that like Morphe and like this color story. I feel this palette can be used for everyday looks since it has a good variation of neutrals, it has a good variation of colors for evening and fun looks. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you guys think about this palette. Have you guys picked it up or are you planning on getting it? Please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys very soon on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.